Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to edit an underexposed photo to make it look like a million bucks. We're going to take this photo that originally looked like this, very underexposed, that also had very bright highlight areas. And we're going to adjust the lighting to give it more pop and to make it more well balanced. Now, the reason that I originally shot this photo underexposed was because some of this grass here, as you can see where my cursor is at, had a lot of sunlight that already made it extremely bright. Now, if I would have exposed for this couple here, this grass that's in the sun would have easily been blown out. As you can see, some of the sky is already blown out, but I already knew that I was gonna do some cropping and cut out a good portion of the sky, so the sky itself wasn't a big concern for me. This grass, however, was definitely important to retain its detail and color. So I've already taken the time with a lot of trial and error editing this photo to look like this. Now I'm not going to show you step by step from scratch on the actual process of trial and error, but I am going to go top to bottom through every single slider to show you the adjustments that I made to get this photo in this final form. It took me about 20-25 minutes to get to this final stage where I'm actually very happy with everything in this photo. The couple is very vibrant and popping. They're not clipping. The dress is a little bit bright, but you can still see detail in her dress. The sky is still a little bit blown out, but it's a very small portion of the frame, so I don't care too much about it. And if I really wanted to, I can go in Photoshop and actually put in a sky here to make it look a little bit more balanced, but I'm not gonna do that today. Here, the main focus was getting this couple to look great, even though they were all in dark shadows and making sure that this grass that was in sun blends very well with the rest of the photo. All right, so let's get to it. Let's reset to zero. And now starting at the top, the color temperature, let's add plus nine. Then the next thing I adjusted was the highlights, negative 64, shadows, plus 43, texture, negative 14, clarity, plus 13, vibrance, 46, then going down to the color adjustments, orange, I added 36 to the saturation and 16 to the luminance. Under the yellow color, I adjusted the hue with plus nine. Now looking at this compared to its original photo, there's already a drastic improvement. However, the couple is still severely underexposed, but I don't wanna do global settings that will adjust the brightness to the sky or to this grass here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go to the adjustment brush, click on that, and now I'm gonna paint over the entire area that is in shadows. So right now I just painted over the grass. There's no adjustment here on any of the sliders, so you can't see any adjustments, but we're gonna start off by bringing down the exposure pretty dark, so that way I can see exactly what I'm painting. So we're gonna leave this like here on the grass. I have a bigger brush so that there's a little bit of a fade towards the edges of the darker parts of the grass leading up to the lighter parts. Now I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller, go over the couple entirely, try to avoid spilling out into the bright areas. Now, in the areas that are around them that are not that bright, it's okay if it spills a little bit, though I'm still going to try to avoid that. Got to get the edge of the dress. And I definitely want to get this veil as well. As you can see, it's a little underexposed. And I can get some of these darker parts of the tree. That's perfectly fine. Again, avoiding any of the really bright areas because I... I'm going to make this section that I'm painting brighter and I don't want to clip and over brighten any of these bright spots. So sticking with only the underexposed areas. All right, so I think that's good there. Now the adjustments I made here is on the color temperature plus nine, exposure plus 0 0.96, contrast plus 27, and shadows plus 11. Click done there. Now this is looking pretty damn good already. I'm going to add another adjustment brush and now this is gonna be only on the couple so I can give them a little bit more brightness. Here I'm going to again make this pretty dark just so I can see where I'm painting. I'm not gonna worry so much about the tail. The tail seems pretty bright already but the main part of the dress here, I'm definitely gonna brighten up a little bit more. 
And now this I'm going to change to plus 0 0.31. Now here you can see that there's still some dark areas that I didn't paint. Yeah, you want to make sure that you get the edges of some of these dark spots. Otherwise, it's definitely going to be noticeable. You're going to see some brightness difference and you don't want that. You can see here some darkness around the edge of the dress here. So I got to find that brush. It's probably this one here. Actually, no, probably the first one. All right, so now click done. If I zoom in, making sure that they're not overexposed now because we've brightened them up a good portion. They look pretty good. So now that we have that, I feel like we have overall a good balance of lighting here, making sure that they are bright enough that they're not clipping or overexposed. Make sure that we have the highlight clipping on to make sure that nothing's overexposing. Now we do have a few spots here that are overexposing, but it's very tiny and there's not really anything that I care for detail in this spot. So it's okay because there's nothing important in these tiny little areas that are overexposed. The rest though looks pretty good. And as we crop, I think it's gonna look even better because we're gonna eliminate some of this super bright sky. Let's go ahead and crop here. I definitely want it to be a little bit more focused on the couple and the veil. Definitely crop out my assistant here who was throwing the veil up in the air. And now I can actually crop here if I wanted to where the hand's there and then just mask out the hand. But I actually don't want this photo to be that long out. So I don't mind cutting off some of the veil. And I'm gonna go in a little bit tighter getting rid of these cars over here. See how that looks. I think we can get it a little bit closer, a little bit tighter. Still cutting out. Let's go back and crop and cut off those cars completely. And let's cut off a little bit more of the veil. And let's go ahead and adjust some of the rotation here. And that looks pretty amazing. Very well balanced. Look at this final product compared to its original super underexposed, very dark, and way too much in frame. But the reason I was so far back was because I wasn't sure exactly how long or how high the veil was gonna fly. So I wanted to make sure I had enough space so that I could crop. So again, here is the final product. Now this is my overall edit in Lightroom where I do the majority of the heavy lifting in Lightroom, adjusting color and light balance. But in Photoshop, I'll go in and smooth out some of the skin. I could also change this white sky to give it a little bit more of a blue sky. So it doesn't seem like it's just blown out highlights. Now I'm not gonna go over those steps in this video. This was really just about bringing in that pop and making your underexposed photo look great through Lightroom. So hopefully this helped you guys out and hopefully this inspired you guys. Let me show you now the finalized photo that I finished editing after going into Photoshop.